Blackfacts.com presents educational series, Black History in America. 1960, sit-in movement and founding of SNCC. Narrated by Timbuktu. On February 1, 1960, for black students from the Agricultural and Technical College in Greensboro, North Carolina, sat down at the lunch counter in a local branch of Woolworths and ordered coffee. Refused service due to the counters, whites only, policy, they stayed put until the store closed, then returned the next day with other students. Heavily covered by the news media, the Greensboro sit-ins sparked a movement that spread quickly to college towns throughout the South and into the North, as young black and white people engaged in various forms of peaceful protest against segregation in libraries, on beaches, in hotels and other establishments. There were massive amounts of support from the community for the students' efforts, but more importantly, white involvement and support grew in favor of desegregation of department store restaurants. Though many protesters were arrested for trespassing, disorderly conduct or disturbing the peace, their actions made an immediate impact, forcing Woolworths, among other establishments, to change their segregationist policies. To capitalize on the sit-in movement's increasing momentum, the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee SNCC, was founded in Raleigh, North Carolina in April 1960. Over the next few years, SNCC broadened its influence, organizing so-called Freedom Rides through the South in 1961 and the historic March on Washington in 1963. It also joined the NAACP in pushing for the passage of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Later, SNCC would mount an organized resistance to the Vietnam War. As its members faced increased violence, SNCC became more militant, and by the late 1960s it was advocating the Black Power philosophy of Stokely Carmichael, SNCC's chairman from 1966 to 67, and his successor, H. Rapp Brown. By the early 1970s, SNCC was effectively disbanded. To learn more about black history, visit www.blackfacts.com.